So the second part of this series about skepticism is the skeptics and the atheist will turn around and they'll say to you that actually um, Christians don't think and on the circuit of YouTube when you listen to the YouTube atheist uh, especially their blog shows and blog TV uh, they will get Christians on their shows and they will get them into my arguments and then they will try to show that the Christians haven't got any rational basis for what they say and they're trying to sort of entrap Christians in discussions where they, they kind of use logical uh, reasoning methods and and then they turn around and say look ha see these Christians they they are not rational they don't base uh, their beliefs on, on reason and this is uh, again another myth um, <clears throat> for example uh, just this year I did a course, um, uh, correspondence course with Oxford University uh, in logic, <coughs> excuse me, uh, a logic course. Um, I'm forever going on the University of Berkeley's site to study um, philosophy, etc. Um, but if you look at the history of Western thought, if you look at the key um, players in the history of Western thought. If you look at Sir Thomas Aquinas, if you look at his um, systematic theology book, every couple of paragraphs it's all about logical reasoning. If you look at the history of Western philosophy, you move right through uh, to the, the key philosophical players, whoever they be. Um, Christian philosophers and Christian thinkers such as Descartes and Pascal were people who were eminently fitted for logical reasoning and ability, logical ability. Um, I think of some of the major leaders in the church in, in the 20th century, Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones who was um, so brilliant as a Christian uh, thinker that it was said that he could tie four Oxford dons in knots. Uh, Francis Schaeffer was a great thinker. Cornelius Van Til, another Christian philosopher and thinker, uh, tremendously learned and expert in Hegelian philosophy. But a, a person who was trained to think logically at uh, Princeton University, uh, a great, great scholar. C.S. Lewis, um, a professor in Renaissance literature, another 20th century great thinker and a person who could reason and be logical, etc. So, as you look at the history of Western thought, as you look at key Christian players, uh, you see that reasoning and evidence is important to Christians. It's always been important and skeptics are just not being honest about this in trying to get you to think that Christians are anti-intellectual and that's not true. Another example is I have a degree in theology, a pastoral studies and theology, but in that course it was with Manchester University. We studied philosophy, we studied psychology and sociology, uh, we had to engage in a whole variety of disciplines and I studied at MA level and I had to study French philosophy and I had to study um, a whole variety of postmodern ways of thinking uh, etc and it critically engage with other people's opinions at a high academic level so it's not true to say that when skeptics try to push uh, in the public arena on YouTube or on the me in the media that Christians are anti-intellectual because that's just not true. Thank you.